Hello children. Today we are going to discuss about an important topic, an important concept. So this concept is taken from page number 39, class 10, unit 2, respiration. So first we need to understand about how energy and heat is generated or released in the body. So here we are keeping what our body temperature always constant. Suppose if you hold the hand of your friend and uh, it shows that it is about 37 degrees centigrade or 98.4 degrees body. So always our bodies are maintaining constant temperature. How this body temperature maintained in body? And again, we are performing different types of activities daily. For that we need what energy? And how the energy release? How heat is released in our body? We discuss today. So that information we are discussing. So you, this is glucose. So daily we are eating food. We are eating, we are consuming more carbohydrates. And these carbohydrates are digested into glucose. By means of our digestion. And these glucose molecules are organic compound which can be of C6H12O6. And uh, this is simple sugar. And these simple sugar molecules are producing what energy in our body. So after digestion, the carbohydrate is connected to glucose. And these glucose molecules are carried by bits of blood. And blood carries this glucose to tissues. And tissues are having cells. And this is a cell. And the cells are getting what glucose from blood by means of diffusion process. So when glucose molecule enter the cell, cell can be some what cytoplasm, fluid material. In the cytoplasm, this glucose molecule undergo glycolysis. That is the first step. And no need of oxygen. And breakdown of glucose molecule takes place and finally breaks into two pyruvates and few ATP molecules are produced. And uh, each pyruvate consists of three carbons and, uh, and few ATP molecules are produced. Little amount of ATP molecules are produced. So further oxidation of pyruvate takes place in the matrix of mitochondria, in the mitochondria but not in the cytoplasm. If oxygen are not available, these pyruvates are converted to lactic acid in our body. Thereby we are getting what? Uh, pain, muscle pain. If pyruvates are entered into the pyruvate, uh, entered the matrix of mitochondria, in the matrix of mitochondria, oxidation takes place. And finally, pyruvates are completely oxidized. And after oxidation, so energy is released, carbon dioxide is produced, water is produced, and heat is also generated. Heat also generated. So energy is of two types, heat energy and uh, chemical energy. ATP molecules are called chemical energy and a lot of energy released in the form of heat. And these ATP molecules are utilized for to do different types of activities in our body. And heat is used for to keep our body always warm. So everybody is maintaining constant temperature. That is about 37 degrees centigrade or 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So in this way, we are getting what energy, heat, and we are releasing what carbon dioxide outside. So today's topic is how energy and heat is released in our body and this is simple and also a clear information regarding what heat and energy release in body. Thank you.